Welcome, in front of me is a Oppo Pod Air and today I will show you how you can hard reset this device through recovery mode which will also allow you to get rid of a screen lock. Now before I get started I'm gonna quickly mention a couple of the important things. So number one if you're logged into a Google account and you do this uh, to remove your screen lock it will basically make your device uh, FRP locked. And just to explain what FRP lock is, it is a uh, lock that you will need to verify once you're going through the setup of your device. So once the reset is finished and you're going to the setup, you will be stopped at one point and the device will tell you to either put in the screen lock that was previously used on this device, which in my case would be a pattern, or uh, use Google account that was signed in on this device prior to the reset. Now, obviously, if you know one of those, just use them to unlock it. But if for some reason you don't know either of those, I'm going to be making in the next video a guide on how you can bypass this uh, for those people that have no clue about both of them. So you won't need to verify anything. But that will be, like I said, in the next video. Anyway, so to get started, I'm going to progress from the lock screen as though I don't know my uh, pattern. So number one, we will need to turn off our device by holding power key and volume up at the same time and swipe down to power it off. And once the device turns off, you wanna hold power key and volume down at the same time. Now, when you see Oppo logo, let go of the power key like I just did, but keep holding volume down. As you will see, this will bring up this menu right here where you get to select your language. So I'm going to press on English and from there, select format data. It brings up this randomly generated number right here. So simply type it in. So for me, it's 5735. Once you input it, it will then give you the format data. So I'm going to select format. OK. And this will automatically reboot the device and continue the reset in the background. Now, because it's continuing reset in the background, it will take it a little bit longer to boot back up. So just let it run through. It's completely normal for it to take longer. But once it's completed, we should be then presented with Android setup screen. So I'll be back once that is visible. I'm just going to wipe it down too. And as you can see, the process is now finished. Now, like I mentioned before, if you need a guide on bypassing uh, the verification i'll be making that in the next video so stay tuned for that but for everybody else that's basically it so if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching